Okay, so next is Jackson. I actually forgot to print out Jackson and Brown out of ink. But that's that's him. That's him. Okay, and that girl is a ghost. Her name is Rachel. So Jackson is a science uh, a medium in China. And there are different versions of that in different cultures and different countries. And one of the most interesting ones that I've learned about are the mediums or the science in, in China. Back in the Philippines, I write movies. And part of that process would be to spend time with people that know about the things that we're writing about. And one of the, the movies that I've written is called The White House. We spent some time with an actual medium or an actual science, a Chinese one. And he told us spirits actually have their own economy. And so to survive, they need money. You know, there's also social classes. They're, they need physical poss possessions, not necessarily physical. And that, I guess, explains how and why, more why, Chinese have this uh, tradition to send off their dead with food and money and gold, you know, stuff like that, because they believe that that's something that they can carry, that the, the spirit can carry when they go into the next stage. And he said that not not every spirit is bad and not every spirit is good but every spirit has their own interest so if you want to have the spirit do something for you then you need to give the spirit something as well so it's a trade-off we spent a, a night in this uh house that is known to be hunted it's called the white house in uh, province in the Philippines so we spent a night there and she told he told us that there's there are several creatures several spirits living in the house and I never really saw them we spent the night there we set up cameras to try and capture them within but there is this one weird experience too actually so the the house has four floors the fourth floor is just one room it's a bedroom um, so you, you go in and there's a door that leads to a bedroom and that bedroom has uh, windows huge windows and he told me that the spirit that was residing in that floor uh, that took ownership of that room is a bad one he told me it's a bad one so so he said but he was going to talk to the spirit and ask him to leave us alone and so I asked him what it what was it that he was giving the spirit in return. Um, he he said it's something, but he didn't want to tell me. But okay. So after that, after that con bit, entire conversation, we went down and after several, you know, we were going around the house. And then I decided to go up to the fourth floor again. And another writer that was with us um, also went up with me. I was there first. But as soon as I stepped in, I started having this headache. It was strong enough for me to want to go down. And I thought maybe it was because, you know, we were pretty high up there, fourth floor and stuff. Maybe it was the air. But the other one was fine. The other one was fine. I told the, the medium about it later on. And he told me that there it was the spirit. It was the spirit not liking me being there. So he was trying to, or she was trying to get me out of that, of her place. She, the spirit, liked the writer. The spirit likes the writer, but she didn't like me. Um, the other writer is the guy. She probably had a crush on him. <laughs> so we went into this other room, a big, big room. There, he's, there was a certain spot right beside a bed. And he told us that that's the spot where one of the spirits resides. So apparently, they reside in a certain spot. Uh, the spirit on the fourth floor just wanted that entire thing, that entire room for herself. But usually they would just take one spot. And if you ended up in that spot, then the spirit would try and get you out of that spot because that's hers. He asked me to go there. And he asked us to go there one by one. The others would feel something. But when I stepped in, I don't know if it was psychological. I kind of did feel something but it wasn't really strong but i did it i did not stay long enough to actually confirm whether it was something supernatural or just uh just me okay so this video is 
getting pretty long. But he's he's the vain one in the group, so he's very conscious about his looks. Um, he's very conscious about his fashion, uh, what he wears, and he would always try and dress up the others. So he, it's not that he hated being a medium or a saiyan, he just hated that there's so many spirits around him all the time that he can't sleep, he can't do anything. Um, and he does like helping them whenever he can, it's just that he feels like, well, you know, he has a life. So, let's check some.